Namaste and welcome to today's yoga class. This is a gentle chair yoga class and today we're going to get up and stand for a little bit. Therefore I have a second chair here. I've set it up here on the side so that you can see me better. But ideally what I'd like you to do at home is take a second chair, put it right in front of your chair so when you stretch your arms out to the front that you can reach the back of this chair comfortably okay so i have the chair here on the side only for the reason that you can better see me very important if at any point you start to feel dizzy or unstable on your feet sit back down take a break take some rest or do the rest of the class in the chair enjoy the class for today scoot all the way back so that your lower back, your mid back, and your upper back is supported. Relax your shoulders down. Close your eyes. And just arrive. No matter what has happened during this week or this morning, the only thing we got to do right now is just to breathe. Yesterday was the day of summer solstice, meaning that today is officially the first day of summer. Today is also a full moon. So in a way, a day of shining bright, even though it's dark outside. So for the next couple of breaths, I'd like you to imagine that you're sitting on, a, on your balcony, looking out over the ocean. It's night. You can't see any clouds out there, but it's fairly dark. And as you take a couple of breaths, just sitting there, looking out over the ocean, you notice the waves coming onto the shore and going back out. So in your, uh, in your mind, imagine every time you breathe in, a wave is slowly rolling onto the shore And as you breathe out, the wave is going back out. Inhale, see the wave come rolling on to the shore, on the sand. And as you breathe out, the wave is going back out. Every inhale is a wave rolling in. Every exhale is a wave rolling out. And now that you're sitting here, just observing the waves and your breath, in your mind, allow your eyes to wander out to the horizon. And really far out there on the horizon, you start to see a sliver of silvery light. It's the moon coming up over the ocean. And every time you inhale and you exhale, that light becomes a little brighter. And you can see a little bit more of that moon. Every time you inhale, and every time you exhale, that moon becomes a little bit more visible over the horizon. You can start to see the moonlight reflecting on the ocean, pitch black and dark. You can see this sliver of silvery light from the moon reflecting all back to you. 
Stay with your breath slowly in and out. Keep watching that moon slowly and steadily rising. At this point, you can see the moon round and full. It's already a little bit further up. Look at that moon. As if you're breathing in the light coming from that moon. Cool and dark outside. Quiet and peaceful. The only thing you can hear are still the waves. Coming in. And going out. Now let that moon go and only focus on your breath. In and out. Now we're going to take a deep breath in for a count of four, three, two, one. Hold the breath for four, three, Two, one, breathe out through the nose for four, three, two, one, and hold empty for four, three, two, one. Deep breath in through the nose for four, three, two, one, hold the breath, three, Two, one, breathe out for four, three, two, one, and hold empty for four, three, two, one. Return to your normal breath in and out through the nose. Keep your eyes closed. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. We will chant three ohms, like we practiced many times before. Long A, long O, long M. You don't have to follow my pace. You can use your own pace. Take a deep inhale now. Ah. Deep inhale. Ah, oh. And one last time. Deep inhale. Ah, oh. Very very good. With your next inhale, bring both arms overhead. Make a big circle with your arms. Bring your palms to touch above your head. And then bring the hands down in front of your chest. With your next inhale, arms out to the side. Make a big circle with your arms. Until the, the palms touch above your head. And then with your exhale, hands come down in front of your chest. One more time. Inhale. Big inhale through the nose. Arm arms up, palms touch. Exhale. Bring the palms down towards your chest. Palms come on, come on top of your thighs. Let your shoulders sink down. Turn your head over to the right. Only go as far as it is comfortable, no need to push. And bring your head all the way over to the left, just gently warming the head up. Over to the right. See whether you can also turn your eyes all the way to the right. And over to the left one more time. And also turn your eyes all the way to your left. 
head comes back to center. Bring your head up, look up at the ceiling, let your head fall back, close your mouth, feel the stretch in your throat. And then as you exhale, let your head sink down. Bring your chin as close to your chest as you can. Close your mouth here, take a breath in. And out through your nose. Bring your head back up. And now with our next inhale, we bring the arms overhead one more time. And as we exhale, we cactus the arms. We reach the arms up with an inhale. And we cactus them with an exhale. Inhale one more time. Reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, bring both arms stretched out forwards. Palms are facing each other. We've done this many times before. Your back is on the back of the chair. Both arms are stretched out forwards. Even stretch through your fingers. Make those arms really strong. And then as you exhale, just let your arms come down onto your thighs. We're warming the legs up a little bit, and then we're going to stand up. So with an inhale, lift your right heel up. Set your right heel back down. Lift your left heel up. Left heel back down. Right heel up, inhale. Exhale back down. Left heel up, inhale. Exhale back down. On your next inhale, lift your right toes up, all five of them. See whether you can even lift the ball of your right foot off the floor and only be on your heels. Breathe here. Feel how your shin is starts, shin bone, and your muscles around your shin bone are starting to engage. Exhale, set the right toes and the right ball of the foot down. Inhale, left toes of, toes of the left foot, all five. Bring them up. And if you can, also bring the left ball of the foot up from the earth. Feel those muscles in your shin working. Breathe here. Exhale, set it back down. Now with our next inhale, we're going to lift the right leg up and just set it slightly to the right. Lift your left leg up and set it slightly to the left. Right leg comes back in. Left leg comes back in. One more time. Right foot out to the right side. Left foot out to the left side. Right foot back in, left foot back in. Very good. Bring your hands on top of your knees. Scoot a little bit forward so your back is leaving the back of the chair. And we're just going to do a couple of rounds of seated cat cow. So hands are cupping your knees. With an inhale, arch your back. Bring that chest forward. Look up. And as you exhale, bring your chin to your chest, round your spine. Round the upper back, the mid back, the lower back. Inhale, chest forward, arch your back. Look up. Exhale, round that spine, bring that chin to your chest. One more time. Inhale, chest forward. Press that lower back forward, really arch that lower back, look up at the ceiling, close your mouth, breathe through your nose. Exhale, bring the head back first, chin to the chest, round that back. Very good. And the last thing we're going to do seated is just a couple of circles with our upper body. So keep the hands on your knees. And we're just going to circle our bo upper body. You can go counterclockwise or clockwise. doesn't matter. Move forward, move to the sides, move to the back. See how your spine is feeling. And change the direction. Very good. Bring your arms to the side and give them a shake. 
Shake out your hands, shake out your arms, shake out your, so your shoulders. And then we're slowly going to get up. So we're getting up from our chair and we're standing behind that second chair. So as you sit up here, behind that second chair, make sure your feet are hip, hip distance apart. We don't want them together. We don't want them too far, far apart, just hip distance. Your toes are pointing forward, not out to the side. So take a peek down, both, all 10 toes pointing forward, feet are parallel, and bring your hands to the back of the chair. Hold on to that chair first. So the first thing we're going to do standing up here is we're just going to bring our weight into the left foot. Lean over to the left. Don't lift your right foot up. Just bring the weight into your left leg. It's all we're doing. Get really light on that right leg, but leave the right foot on the floor. And now lean over to the right side. Bring the weight into the right foot. Hold on to the back of the chair. The left foot is still on the floor. You're just getting light on that left foot. We're just shifting weight left or right. Bring the weight over to the left one more time. And to the right one more time. Just left and right. Keep going back and forth. Just get a feeling on what, what it feels like to have more weight in one foot versus the other foot. Okay, now stand firmly on both feet, hands are still on the back of the chair, bring the weight into the left foot, see where they can lift your right heel up, only the right heel, not the whole foot, only the right heel. So you're bending slightly into your right leg, lifting that right foot on the heel up. Set it back down. We're going to do the same thing on the left side. Weight comes into the right foot. Lift your left heel up. Only the heel, not the whole foot. That's all we're doing. Bring that left heel back down. And now we're going to go back and forth. Your hands are still on the back of the chair. They're not leaving here. Inhale, right heel up. Bend into the right knee. Exhale, bring the right heel back down. Inhale, left heel up. So you're basically coming on the ball of the left foot. Bring it back down. Just warming the legs up. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale down. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale down. One more time. Right heel up. Ball of the right foot. All the weight is in the left foot. Right heel down. Left heel up. Weight is in the right foot, left heel down. Now look down at your feet again. They should be parallel, all 10 toes pointing forward. Now I want you to find a spot right in front of you on eye level that is not moving. You're going to focus on that spot for the next couple of minutes and your eyes are never going to leave that spot. So we're going to use our brains to focus here with our eyes on just one spot. Okay, now keep that one spot with your eyes, keep locked on, laser sharp focus, and now raise your right arm up, all the way up, left hand stays on the back of the chair. Keep, fo keep focusing on that one spot, and we're going to do a couple of circles with that right arm to the front as if you were swimming. Bring that arm fully stretched out to the front, and then go all the way to the back. Big circles with that right arm. And now change the direction. Go backwards as if you were swimming on your back. Try to keep your arms stretched out. If it doesn't fully stretch, that's perfectly fine. But make an effort to stretch that arm out and make that circle as wide as you can, as big as you can. Okay, we'll switch sides. Right hand to the back of the chair. Left arm up, reach up really high, keep focused on that one spot on the wall, and then big circle to the front, as if you were swimming with that left arm. Stretch out those fingers, 
make the arm as straight as you can make those circles as big as you can you don't have to go fast it's more important to feel out the range of motion in those shoulders and change the direction all the way to the back big circle with that left arm one more all the way up and to the back okay very good both hands to the back of the chair find your focal point on the wall and now we're going to lift both arms up overhead draw a big circle out wide like we did seated bring your arms overhead bring those palms to touch and bring the hands down the palms down in front of your heart big circle arms go up and out sorry out and up bring the palms up overhead make them touch and then bring the palms in front down in front of your heart one more like that big inhale arms out to the side and all the way up move slowly here don't forget that focal point palms touch exhale hands down to your heart so press your palms together in front of your heart and we're going to reverse the direction so as you pray press your palms together bring your arms back up overhead your eyes are not leaving that focal point and then flip your palms to the outside and bring those arms with a big circle out and down Bring the palms back in front of your heart. Press them together. Inhale, bring them up overhead. Keep looking at that focal point on the wall. Palms flip out, outward. Exhale, hands down. Very good. With your next inhale, bring both arms back overhead. With your exhale, cactus those arms. Inhale, reach up, bring the palms together. Exhale, cactus. One more time. Inhale, reach up, palms face each other. Maybe they even come together. Exhale, cactus. Reach those arms overhead. And with your exhale, bring them down onto the back of the chair and see whether you can bring your chin down to your chest and even even fold forward a little bit use your arms as support on the chair maybe you bring your upper body down a little bit towards that back of the chair you don't have to come all the way down maybe it's just a slight bend that's good enough and then press into your hands come back up exhale here inhale arms overhead exhale cactus the arms inhale reach up exhale hands to the back of the chair and fold forward really keep a grip on the back of the chair to help you here maybe you can go a little bit more forward than before keep the stability in your legs and your knees and then with an inhale press into those hands on the back of the chair come all the way back up exhale here inhale arms overhead one more time exhale cactus the arms inhale reach up exhale hands on the back of the chair and this time see whether you can come as low as it is comfortable for you keep the balance in your legs use your hands on the back of the chair maybe your upper body can rest also on the back of the chair maybe it doesn't come all the way down doesn't matter whether you're here we're all the way down breathe here now let your head relax down shake your head yes shake your head no and then slowly bring your head back up press into those arms come off the back of the chair back to standing with an inhale find that focal point on the wall and then bring your arms all the way up and now with your exhale bring your right arm forward and your left arm to the back as if you're reaching with your right hand to the front of the room and your left hand to the back of the room breathe here keep your eyes fixed on that focal point on the wall strong arms here 
Reach with that right arm. Reach with that left arm. One more breath here. In and out. And then both arms come up overhead and we switch sides. Bring the left arm forward, the right arm back. Really reach with that left arm to the front of the room and with the right arm to the back of the room. Very good. Both arms back up. And with an exhale, hands down to the back of the chair. Now, without the feet leaving your floor, bend into your right knee. Straighten back out. Bend into your left knee. Straighten it back out. A couple of times back and forth as if you were walking. Without your feet lifting from the floor, back and forth. Bend into the right, bend into the left, right, and left. One more time, right, and left. Very good. Find your stable position again, check your feet, feet are parallel, all ten toes pointing forward, hands are on the back of the chair. With an inhale, bring both arms overhead one more time. And this time, bring your right hand down to the back of the chair. Reach up with your left arm and see whether you can bring that left arm a little bit over to the right side. Not very far, just a tiny little side bend. Keep that right hand firmly on the back of the chair. You don't have to go very far, but I'd like you to feel that stretch on the left side of your body. Press both feet down. Equal weight in both feet. We're not shifting any weight here. Breathe here. Very good. Bring that left hand down. Put it back on the back of the chair. Reach up with your right arm. Reach up, reach up, reach up. And then reach over to the left side with that right arm. You don't have to go very far. Just a gentle side bend. Check in with your feet again, equal weight in both feet. We're not favoring any foot here. Keep that focus on the wall, on any spot that you've picked. That's your focal point. Very good. Both arms back overhead. And now I'd like you to bring your hands on your hips. Right hand on the right hip, left hand on the left hip. Elbows are out to the side. Stand up really tall here, super tall, as tall as you can. See whether you can roll your shoulders back. Just breathe here. Imagine there are little roots growing out of your feet, keeping you firmly connected to the floor. One more breath here. Bring your hands back to the back of the chair. And now we're going to sway our hips in a circle, okay? As if you were playing with a hula hoop, maybe, okay? So both hands firmly on the back of the chair. Bring your hips out to the left, to the front, over to the right, and to the back. The circle doesn't need to be very big. Move your hips around here. And as you move your hips, Feel whether there's any tightness, any congestion that you can feel in your lower back. If there's any spot that's a little tight or maybe even a little painful, you can stop there and just do tiny little movements, see whether you can loosen it up. If everything feels perfect, then just keep going. We'll change the direction, go the other way. Feet are still firmly planted. We're just checking out what's going on in our hips. See what happens if we make those movements slightly bigger or slightly smaller. And again, if there's any point, any area that feels a little tight, just stay there. Okay, very good. Come back to center. Look down at your feet again, 
all 10 toes pointed out to the to the front towards the chair now take your right foot and see whether you can point your your toes out to the right side left foot the toes are pointed forward right foot the toes are pointed out to the right side okay opening that hip just a little bit stand here and breathe nothing else to do only turn that foot out and see how that feels on your hip bring that right foot back right foot pointing forward bring that left foot to the side so that left foot is pointing out at a 90 degrees to the right see how that feels on your hip hands are firmly on the back of the chair you're safe here very good we bring that right foot back in and then we take the right arm up one more time big circle to the front big circle to the back Switch sides, right hand to the back of the chair, left arm up, circle to the front, circle to the back. Okay, one last round of movement, and this time we're going to make it one breath, one movement. Both feet firmly planted on the floor, all ten toes pointing forward. Find that spot on the wall. Root down through your feet. Get really stable here. And as you're focusing on that spot on the wall, with your next inhale, make a big circle out to the side and up with your arms. Palms touch at the top. Make your arms as straight as you possibly can. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, both arms up. Palms touch. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Keep the focus on the spot on the wall. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Both palms together. One more round. Inhale, both arms up, overhead. Palms to touch. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach up with both arms. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, both arms overhead. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, both arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Now bring the hands to the back of the chair. Get stable through your feet. And if you're feeling safe, close your eyes. I want you to feel the, the earth, the carpet, whatever it is be, below your feet. Feel your body weight pressing down through your feet into the ground. And feel how the ground is holding you up. And now as you inhale, I want you to imagine that you're pulling a breath all the way from your feet, through your legs, through your torso, all the way up to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, send all of that breath back down to your feet. As you inhale and pull that breath up from your feet to the crown of your head, I want you to feel light. And as you exhale and send that breath back down, feel heavy. Inhale, light as a feather. Exhale, heavy and solid as a rock. Inhale, lightness. Exhale, firmly ground. Okay, so flutter your eyes back open, look around, know where you are, and when you're ready, sit back into your chair.
as as you sit back down in your chair again scoot all the way back so the lower back the mid back and the upper back is supported in the chair hands come on top of your thighs close your eyes here now that we've completed our standing poses check in with your legs We haven't done a lot of work with our legs, but they had to help us up and keep us stable as we were moving the upper body. So check in with your right leg, your foot, your shin, your calf, your knee and your thigh. Pick up any sensation in your right side of your lower body. And then with your next couple of exhales, allow that right leg to completely relax. Attention to your left leg. The foot, the ankle, the calf, the shin, the knee and the thigh. Pick up any sensation that you may be feeling in that left leg. And then allow that left leg to completely relax. Now bring your attention to your right arm. Fingers, wrists, lower arm, elbow, upper arm and shoulder. And as you exhale, allow that right arm to completely relax. Same thing for the left arm, Heft, left hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm and shoulder. Allow everything to relax. And then we'll come back to the breath. No need to control your breath, just notice the inhale and the exhale. Go back to that image of the beach. As you inhale, see the wave rolling onto the shore. And as you exhale, the wave goes back out and joins the ocean. Inhale, the wave rolls in. And exhale, slowly goes back. Inhale, allow the wave to come. And exhale, allow the wave to leave. In your mind's eye, bring the gaze up towards the horizon one more time. First, notice the shimmer of the moon on the ocean. You can see the waves pretty clearly because the moon is really high up now and super bright. Look at that light. Look at that reflection of the moon in the ocean. Vividly imagine it. How that light is dancing on top of the waves. And then maybe bring your gaze up and admire that moon. Full bright moon. Maybe your moon has a silver light. Maybe it has a little bit of a red tint. Whatever you want to look, make it to look like. And as you look around the moon, maybe you can even see a couple of stars. And again, notice how quiet and peaceful it is. The only thing you can hear is your breath. Or the waves. Coming in. And going out. 
in and out. Slowly in and slowly out. Now start to move your fingers on your thighs or in your lap. Start with the right hand, wiggle the pinky finger, ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger and thumb. Maybe pick that right hand up and roll through your wrist. Set it back down, left hand, move the pinky finger, ring finger, middle finger, pointer and thumb. Maybe pick that hand up and roll through the wrist. Pick the right toes up, set them back down. Pick the left toes up and set them back down. And whenever you're ready, bring your hands in front of the heart. We'll close the class with one chant of Om. Long A, long O, long M. Deep inhale. Ah, O. That was excellent. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. May your life and the life of your loved ones be as peaceful as the moon at night over the ocean.